Good morning, my darlings. It is the most perfect Monday morning and the garden is looking absolutely glorious. The garden is really starting to come into bloom after a very warm weekend. My phone actually said it was only 18 degrees yesterday, but it definitely felt more like mid 20s. I don't know if you can see, but the lilac tree over there is now in bloom and a lot of the alliums are starting to come out. Lots of them are still in bud. Um, but lots of them are starting to bloom. The chaps, the Nicholson's chaps are already here. They should be finishing this week and already working on the pathway. You're coming inside, Dixie. Come on. Good morning, Bunny. Did you have a nice weekend? Did you have a nice weekend? Yes. Oh, we love having friends over. We really do. officially now become the crazy lady that takes a pair of gardening scissors in my handbag with me so that I can collect blooms from the hedgerows. Um, so as a reminder, the rules are on private land, such as this driveway, you would need the owner's permission. As it happens, this is actually our friend's farm and I know that they won't mind me uh, snipping some bits from one of their entrances, but if there are blooms, my goodness, there's no cars when I'm not talking to the camera and then suddenly there's a whole convoy. Um, the rules on a hedgerow are if it is on the roadside and it's growing abundantly then you can snip away to your heart's content especially things like cow parsley so I'll be turning these into a lovely display when I get home It's a little bit breezy out here at the front of the house, um, but here we go. There's my hedgerow foraged flower arrangement for our entrance hall, made up mostly of really tall cow parsley, which is perfect for the base. Also, if you get nice um, structures, which have got a little bit of a shape to them, they're perfect for creating that structure. And then I've actually only got one branch <laughs> from the side of the road, and then a few other little wildflower bits, which are growing very plentifully at the side of the road. And then this is, I think it's called the Jack in a Hedge, which I really liked from the last time. They do tend to last for about a week. I just make sure I've got plenty of water in the uh, vase and it's just really lovely and of course totally free. So if you do live somewhere where your hedgerows are currently abundant, then why not give this a try? If you do, tag me in your Instagram stories because I'd love to see them. It's just a really beautiful way of adding some nature into the house without spending a fortune. <laughs> Hello my darlings, this is the first time I think I've actually spoken to the camera properly in this vlog. So I have got uh, some new net porter bits that I unboxed yesterday actually and you may have seen a little sneaky peek in the last vlog, one of the outfits um, that I was wearing but I thought I would do a proper it's not unboxing because I have already <laughs> unboxed the order but a little bit of a what I've been buying lately Full confession, I've also just placed another Nessa Porter order, so what I'm gonna do is pop a beautiful graphic up on the screen here um, of the pieces that are in my part two order. 
and um, if those pieces arrive before this vlog goes up then I'll also share them with you <laughs> later on in the video but if not um, then there is plenty of gorgeousness here and I'll leave a shoppable link to this graphic in the description box down below because that's very um, accessory focused the Loewe sunglasses being a particular highlight um, and some more gorgeous dresses but let's not get ahead of ourselves I'm going to share with you what is in this first order so obviously we've had some sunshine lately it feels as though the seasons are finally changing and that makes me very optimistic when it comes to my spring wardrobe it's no secret that I live in spring dresses so unsurprisingly this is the first piece that was in my order and it is from Rixo. I would say, let's bring you down a little bit, um, I would say that this would be the most fabulous wedding guest outfit. Now some people might say on camera it looks a little bit light uh, but actually in real life it's very much yellow. It is, this is literally buttercup yellow if you see here maybe that's slightly more true um, and then covered in floral daisies which i would say is perfect for a spring summer wedding full length um with the most gorgeous silhouette sorry this is really actually not the best place for me to show you is it how's that nope too low not low enough <laughs> uh, rookie you wouldn't think I've been doing YouTube for 10 years, would you? My goodness. Okay, so you can kind of see here that it's a beautiful full length dress, cinches you in around the waist very subtly, and then you've got the gorgeous tiered system, tiered fabric going down to the bottom. With something like this, I feel like there are many different ways you can wear it. I have just grabbed a few of my favorite accessories, both of which do happen to be also from Netta Porter, my absolute favorite heels of the moment my aqua zura heels which um i wore recently to a friend's birthday in cheltenham the perfect heel height for wearing all day long oops um raffia which in my opinion goes with everything and speaking of raffia so you guys know that i did send back the valentino rockstead slip-ons i'm kind of potentially living to regret it but in my second order i have ordered the classic rock studs the high heel version in raffia i'm so happy they've bought them out in that style i absolutely love them uh, so they would be fabulous with this as well especially if you do need that additional height boost and then my beloved um loewe green bag which sold out so quickly the first time but when i was on the website yesterday it was back in stock so if you're super speedy gonzalez then you might be able to get your hands on this fabulous bag which i cannot recommend more highly in my opinion is the perfect size even when I okay it doesn't fit my laptop but if I need to take my camera out just you know my bigger makeup bag more than just what you'd put in a little kind of clutch bag then this is perfect so if you are trying to transition your handbag for summer uh, you want something with a little bit of color maybe you want to buy into the Loewe basket bag trend but you don't want one of the classic basket bags this is so versatile and I absolutely adore it and I think it looks really really lovely with the Rixo dress. Uh, so this isn't new, I've had this for a little while, but um, it's back in stock, so I thought I would mention it. Hopefully the Aquazura heels are in stock too, in which case I will also leave them linked down below. I'll leave links to all of these bits that I'm sharing with you down below. So this is an absolute winner. It feels like one of those dresses which I can wear on uh, smart occasions to special events, but also because of the fabric, it feels like one that I can wear to more relaxed events as well. It's just, yeah, perfectly versatile summer dress. I love a cotton summer dress. If you've got the right kind of job, then it could be a fabulous work dress as well. I bet it would look really nice with a belt. Now, I know you must all be so bored of <laughs> these two belts. You will be pleased to know in my second Netta Porter order, I'll pop a pitch bit on the screen here, um, I have ordered a Zimmerman belt which is kind of similar to this this one obviously being from one of my Zimmerman play suits but the one that I bought seems a little bit more substantial and it's got white contrast detail around the edging and I think that that will become my new favorite but I find that so many dresses look fabulous with this belt here oh yeah <laughs> it looks really really nice 
that is actually the perfect finishing touch. There's just something about a belt, about this belt, and I'm sure it'll be the same with the other Zimmerman one, Zimmerman one that I've ordered. It just works with everything. It is so, so versatile. The color is very neutral, especially as I wear a lot of light colored things. And sometimes, not that it's really altered the shape of this dress that much, to be honest, but it just accentuates the waist, cinches you in just that tiny little bit, and that's sometimes all you need to really feel fabulous in an outfit. So this is uh, going to be another one of those outfits that I wear on rotation. We've got a nice dinner uh, with the the, I think he's called the Cotswold guy. It's a supper club at Soho Farmhouse tomorrow night. So I think this is absolutely perfect for that kind of occasion. Okay, I think that lighting is potentially a bit better without the overhead lights on. It's a little bit more true color wise, albeit a bit gray in the background. It's gone cloudy. <laughs> <laughs> which I'm not very happy about, but never mind. So this is the second dress, and this is the one that I wore at the weekend, and I absolutely love it. Uh, this is another one from their supporter. I believe this is one from Faithful, Faithful the brand. This uh, selection of dresses is really that kind of mid-price range. We're not talking like the super, um, super premium price points. It's that kind of premium high street is what I like to call it, so brands like Rixo, Faithful, you know those beautiful cotton dresses that are just perfect, perfect, perfect for this time of year and definitely my favourite kind of price point when it comes to adding dresses into my wardrobe. So this one is in this gorgeous green uh, gingham, you've got this lovely puff sleeve detail, a low v-neck, not too low, I have actually gone um, braless with this because you have got a fabulous open open back detail and then the two bows one at the neck and one around the waist to really create that beautiful silhouette and then again the beautiful mid to maxi lengths so I have popped on my Hermes sliders with this it would look equally fabulous with the aqua zuras that I was wearing earlier um, but this is what I was wearing at the weekend and then I have never owned a Loewe puzzle bag before, but I think it's no secret that I'm a huge lover of Loewe bags. So when I saw this one, does this classify as a puzzle bag? I'm actually not too sure. It's definitely the puzzle shape, um, but it doesn't have the kind of puzzle structure to it. Now, I have heard so many people raving about the Loewe puzzle bag. It does seem like a fairly small bag. Oh, it's got a really nice... Um, herringbone lining. I would quite like curtains <laughs> that look like this. But I thought if there is a Loewe puzzle bag for me to start off my collection, then this is the one. So interestingly, it doesn't actually have a shoulder strap. I don't know why I thought it might do, um, but then it doesn't really have anywhere that a shoulder strap would cling onto. So this is the bag without any lining. I don't know if you're meant to like squish it into different sizes. I'm very new to the Loewe puzzle bag, so any advice from you guys would be wonderful. Obviously with it not being leather, the price point is a little bit lower than the typical Loewe puzzle bag. And I actually think that this green embroidered um, pattern is absolutely beautiful. You've got the green leather on the top here, the top handle. And size-wise, actually, it would very easily fit the largest iPhone. I could fit a few of my makeup essentials, uh, my vlogging camera, basically all the bits that I do need to carry around with me on a daily basis, Charlie's wallet, things like that. And then obviously just worn on the crook of your arm. I think with a white summer day dress, this would look absolutely, absolutely beautiful. But will I find myself reaching for this over my basket bags? That is something to consider. The dress is most definitely a keeper. It's a 100% yes. I don't think we've got pockets actually. That's. I thought it would do because it's a slightly thicker material. It's like a, a lined cotton um, material. But let me know your thoughts on the bag, the dress, I am sold on. And now we have the third dress and bag combo. This is another gorgeous, uh, very wearable spring day dress, also from Faithful, from Netta Porter. And it's a white dress, but with a little bit of a difference. It's got these gorgeous blue, now, 
don't know what they're meant to be. They're quite abstract little flowers, maybe a little cornflower, but a really gorgeous shape to this. Super comfortable to wear because you've got this smocking detail. So um, for me, when I'm going somewhere where I know I'm gonna eat a lot, it's gonna be great, it's gonna be super comfortable. Very sweet little puff sleeves, a slightly square neckline, which is a really, um, I feel like it's the neckline shape of the season, I love a square neckline. And then the same kind of mid maxi, mid axi length that all of these dresses are, which I'm just so comfortable wearing for every day. Um, I feel like I don't even need to say it, all the different places that I'll wear these dresses because literally every single day, the only thing that I wanna wear at this time of year is a dress like this. So I absolutely adore them. Another great price point, And I do have another <laughs> Loewe bag to share with you. So I definitely need your opinion on which of the bags is your favourite and which ones, plural, are the keepers. So this one is probably the closest in style to the others. That I already have in my collect collection. And this is part of the Loewe with Paula's Ibiza collaboration. Uh, Paula's being the most fabulous boutique. They've got one in Ibiza Old Town. Um, I visited a couple of years ago. They have just got the most fabulous pieces in there. Um, and this is essentially if you're looking for that classic summer straw bag with plenty of room inside, then this is a really gorgeous option. It's a little bit different to the classic straw bag in that it's a slightly thinner weave, a thinner raffia, really lovely and lightweight. You can, if you would like to, throw the biggest straps inside and hold it up by like a bucket bag, that kind of style. These straps are big enough to fit over your shoulders or if you really do want to sling it over your shoulder then that strap is most definitely long enough. I feel like at this point I should do a Loewe basket bag collection. Is that something that you guys would like to see? Maybe it's something that I'll share on TikTok or on Instagram. Let me know if you'd like to see that, um, or you could probably just watch my fairly recent handbag collection video. But yeah, this one's a little bit different with this style of the leather logo, nice and lightweight, and if you do want to add a basket bag to your collection, maybe you are yet to invest in a gorgeous basket bag, but then this one is, uh, it is visually different to the original ones, so it's a little bit more summer 2022 kind of vibes, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. And lastly, the final dress that I have to share with you. I'm sorry, does this look really dark? <laughs> Hopefully not. This is the most gorgeous dress from Love Shack Fancy. And I, <laughs> I don't wanna completely disregard my signature color. <laughs> Let me know if you guys know where that quote is from. But of course, a pink dress for spring summer is the perfect addition to my wardrobe for, uh, I, do you know what, I actually don't have any weddings to attend this summer and it is the summer of weddings, literally every, it feels like so many people are getting married this summer, but most of our friends are actually already married. So if I had a wedding to attend this summer, this could also be a really fantastic option, gorgeous colour. Um, Again, you've got that square neckline. I love the length of the sleeves. You've got the smock detail, really, really, really beautiful smock detail um, going into a voluminous sleeve. I love the little daisy pattern. It's super, super comfortable to wear. We have just booked to attend a Jubilee picnic on the Queen's Jubilee weekend. And I think this is the perfect summer or spring summer picnic day dress. I love the smocking detail. You've got these really sweet little ruffle details down here on the uh, on the skirt as well. And once again, it looks really cute with my little Aquazura heels. And I'm sure all of the handbags would look great with this dress. Whether it's the big basket bag, I guess it depends on how much stuff I want to take out with me. Big basket bag, smaller basket bag. I always love the contrast that you get with the green. Very, very happy with the new dresses in my collection. Now, as usual, I need to change into something very casual. I want to do a tiny bit of planting, just a few, few little bits that need to go out into the kitchen garden um, ahead of a couple of days of rain. And then we do have a heat wave, so at least they can get established before the temperatures get hot. Yes, so I need to, sadly, change into something a little bit more practical. <laughs> right, from glamorous dresses and leggings, no, 
<laughs> from glamorous dresses to designer bags into leggings and a gardening fleece. It's time to head out. I have a question for you guys. Do you find it a little bit weird and jarring um, that I hop from like showing you luxury pieces that I've been buying from Nesta Porter to going and getting it muddy in the garden. Does it feel a bit weird? I'd love to know because for me that's just, you know, my two loves in life. Um, and it feels a little bit like my old life in London, like the glamorous fashion content and my new life out here in the Cotswolds, but both I feel equally, equally as passionate about. Um, but I always wonder how it comes across on YouTube because to me obviously it just feels really natural, but I don't know if you guys find it really weird seeing <laughs> such a contrast or if you're just happy to watch whatever, whatever I'm <laughs> pottering about doing. But yeah, let me know. Let me know on that. Uh, this is a lovely Holland Cooper fleece actually. Um, really nice kind of army olive green fleece super duper cozy and i've just got it on over some adenola leggings the t uh, teal colored teal or turquoisey uh, sage colored leggings that i was wearing earlier to my pilates were also from adenola such a nice fit and the brown ones are my preferred gardening attire when the temperatures warm up, I will do my gardening in my pretty dresses, but for now, it's all about being practical. Okay, let's go. Good morning, my darlings. Coming to you looking a little bit crazy this morning. It is half past eight um, on Wednesday. Is it Wednesday or is it Tuesday? It's Tuesday. Half past eight on Tuesday morning. I have had a two hour drive this morning and I am now in Peterborough, which is a very, very random place to be. I have never been to Peterborough before and I'm here because Yes, I've got my under eye gel masks on because I didn't fancy having a face full of makeup for four hours in the car this morning. I'm in Peterborough because um, I need to renew my passport and the UK passport situ situation at the moment is diabolical. It is so bad. Obviously, so many people like myself had their passports, <clears throat> excuse me, run out or come close to their expiration during COVID and because we weren't traveling we just didn't prioritize um, getting it renewed so that very much includes myself and now all of a sudden wanting to travel again we realize <laughs> using the royal we we realize that you need more than six months on your passport to travel to most places um, so yes I basically had to book an emergency appointment so that I could get my passport within like three weeks because a normal appointment probably would have taken I don't know a couple of months at this rate so I booked this appointment a couple of weeks ago there were no London appointments available at all so I had to come up here to Peterborough it was either here or I think it was Newcastle or Belfast <laughs> which are obviously just even further away um, I have uh, an appointment today and then I should get my passport in one week, which is great news. You may remember a little while ago I said that I'd gone to a place to get my photos taken and I just wasn't prepared um, for it to be a live photo shoot. I thought I was going to have time to like sort myself out in a booth, um, but it was a live photo shoot and I was too embarrassed to say that I didn't like the picture so I've ended up with a photo that I'm not particularly happy with, but I'm not too bothered because obviously um, getting married next year I will have to change my passport again, so I will get a new photo next year. Gosh, can you imagine if they said, Josie, you need to take pictures today, and I'd done it with no makeup on, unfreshly washed hair, 
I'm sure that won't happen. Uh, but I was listening to Diary of a CEO on the way here, a couple of really interesting podcasts. The first was with the founder of ClassPass, and that is um, something that I love to use. Very fascinating hearing her story um, and how that business grew, the challenges that she faced. And then the second podcast um, was Stephen Bartlett and Piers Morgan. Now it's really fascinating because Piers Morgan is one of these, um, I mean he's known for being a very opinionated character and weirdly he's also known for, you know, if you say that you agree with him you almost instantly get cancelled and that in itself is just absolutely mad. So this could be a shocking statement but actually when I was listening to the podcast and kind of forgetting about what you're meant to think or what you're meant to agree with a lot of the things he was saying did make sense and that might be a sharp intake of breath for many people but actually when you listen to what he was saying a lot of it was like yeah you know what you know what Piers you've actually got a point there I mean what what a world do we live in where people can be angry with you just for disagreeing oh sorry just for agreeing with someone's opinion it's absolutely mad but it was a real um i haven't actually finished it I, he's just started talking about Meghan markle so i've got 20 minutes left which i will um very much enjoy on my way home but yeah i would definitely recommend listening to it and listen to it with an open mind as well forget about what you you know what twitter tells you you're meant to agree with or not allowed to have an opinion on and um he ha he made some really good points about how this whole like woke generation that we're living in right now actually does the exact opposite of what it's set out to so we are becoming less and less of a democracy and free speech is actually becoming more and more impossible and yeah he made a lot he made a lot of really good points but anyway I'll leave you guys to make up your own mind on that. There is a bit of a queue, but you know, there's appointment time, so I feel like I'll just wait in the car for another 10 15 minutes until it's a little bit closer to my actual appointment time. Obviously, I gave myself loads of time to get here. This car is getting so many looks <laughs> parked up on the street here. You don't see many defenders in Peterborough. So, I'm gonna sit here, I've got my laptop with me, of course, gonna do a little bit of work and then I'm gonna head in for my appointment. Well, my appointment was at 9.30 and it is currently 9.33 and I'm done. That was so quick and easy. After all of that um, stress of trying to get an appointment, it is super duper easy. If you're going through the same thing, I would highly recommend getting an early morning appointment because I said, gosh, you're always so punctual and apparently as the day goes on, obviously um, there are often delays. So if you can get an early morning appointment, I always think that's best, whether it's the vets or the dentist, get it done <laughs> and there's less chance of having to wait around. I'm super duper shiny. Um, because I literally just put loads of moisturizer on my face before getting in the car. So four hours on the road, maybe 10 minutes inside the passport office. Um, that is my thrilling Wednesday morning. So I'll catch up with you again when I'm back home. Hello again, darlings, back home again. I'm halfway through putting on um, my makeup. I've literally just got uh, my foundation and a tiny bit of bronzer on. I popped on the Golan terracotta light uh, bronzer because even though this is a bit strange actually even though I still it still visually appears as though there is some left in my Charlotte Tilbury it's done that funny thing where it's almost like set like it's almost gone hard and I think that's what happens especially with us oily skinned gals obviously our makeup brushes probably collect oils from our skin and over over time I think those oils almost set the makeup products. I, that is my own hypothesis. I've no idea if that's true or not, um, but that is just something that I personally think happens. And I've actually not been noticing that I've been getting any, ooh, that is dazzling, anything on my brush when I've been swiping my Charlotte Tilbury lately. So I think that's good for the bin. And I am swapping in for my Galan which is really lovely but anyway the very random reason um i can tell i've got a makeup brush fiber on my face somewhere because it's really tickly um the reason why i just turned on the camera 
is because I feel like my skin has got its glow back. If you watched the last vlog, you might have spotted, I made a comment saying um, that I was having a bit of a bit of a bad skin week and um, I wasn't really too sure why that might be. Sorry about the lighting, it is streaming in. I'm also really self-conscious that I've only done half a face of makeup. Yeah, I was saying that I felt that my skin didn't look glowy after the, I probably had like a six week period where my skin felt and looked at its absolute best. Um, but I'm not sure how well it's coming across on camera, but I feel like the glow is back. And I now know what it is. <laughs> because I stopped using this particular product only for like 10 days because I ran out downstairs and I have got one up here but I ran out downstairs, which meant that it wasn't the first thing that I was putting on my skin in the mornings or the last thing at night. <laughs> the product that I now am 90% sure is what has this incredible impact on my skin might be a little bit annoying because it is also my most expensive skincare product. It's Le Serum from Clé de Peau. It, I, I, I knew that it was having an amazing impact on my skin because it's almost instantly noticeable when you put it on, but now that I've gone without it for 10 days and bought it back, I'm so sorry about this, <laughs> this light, and the difference in how my skin looks and feels has been so instantaneous, just, you know, makeup is sitting better, the texture looks and feels better, that natural glow is back, and the only thing that has changed, because Again, last week I said, oh, maybe my bad skin this week is down to the fact that I've not been sleeping as well, um, I've not been drinking as much water, I've been eating rubbish. Well, that actually hasn't changed. I actually had two McDonald's today. We did have a very indulgent, um, both like food and drink-wise weekend. I've not been eating very healthily. So what other reason, and nothing else has changed, haven't had a facial lately, I've still been using my Skin and Me just as normal, but I think with Skin and Me especially, you do have to take note of the hydration levels of your skin, uh, because the active ingredients within Skin and Me can be quite dehydrating, but literally the only thing that's changed, and now my skin is <laughs> back to looking and feeling good again. You may not be able to tell on the camera, but I can, I can really tell, you know, you just know your own skin and it's this. So it really is a very, very expensive product, but when you spend that amount of money, you want to see a big difference. You really do. And I'm pleased to report that I really do. I really, really do. So Clé de Peau Le Serum, officially in my very, very, very good books. Okay. I'm gonna go back to watching the YouTube video that I'm in the middle of, um, finish my makeup, and then I have another unboxing to share with you. Okay, my darlings, makeup done. Perhaps I need a slightly darker lip colour. Um, but makeup done, just my usual, same as the last time I showed my makeup routine to you. Today I popped on the Chantecaille colour. Gosh, it's because I'm using new makeup brushes. Um, these, these are amazing. These are from Vive, Jamie Genevieve's brand. This is the powder and bronze. Um, but I do always find but I do often find when I use a new makeup brush, and there's nothing wrong with this, but it does molt a little bit, and I've got little hairs <laughs> all over my skin. Sorry, I'm getting very distracted today. I've popped on the Code 8 Color Brilliance Lipstick in the shade Wonderlust, which is one of my long-term favorites. Absolutely love it. And I did have Bare Minerals Grace on um, underneath as well. So a little bit of layering. Okay, let's tidy all of that away. Um, and I have got, right. So I do have some more bits here to share with you. It's actually not another unboxing. It's actually the same unboxing as I started yesterday. I mentioned, I think actually in the last vlog, that the box that arrived for my Netta Porter delivery 
was slash is the biggest delivery box I have ever received in my entire life. Absolutely ginormous. And I actually, yesterday, didn't realize that I hadn't gotten to the bottom of it. <laughs> So there's more. I knew there was one particular thing that was missing from what I showed you, but I didn't know if it was going to be arriving in two separate orders. No, it was at the bottom of the box, um, and this box really is ginormous. So I'm going to share those bits with you now. Uh, also, as a PR delivery that arrived today, some beautiful new jewellery from Missima. However, <laughs> I don't actually think this is so very annoying that I'm able to share that with you just yet. So that's just me being the world's biggest tease, for which I apologize, but I carried those bits up in this bag. Now, obviously I will not be keeping all of these bags because there are only so many basket bags that one can use um, <laughs> at a time slash over a summer. So very, very much in need of your opinion. This one is pretty much the same as the last one that I shared with you, only bigger. So to compare, these are the two different sizes. This is the original and this is the one that I've just opened. If I was going to be going for a full day at the beach, then I think this would be the perfect size. But if it's more of an everyday kind of handbag, then I think this one. So I really just need to have a think. Maybe the bigger one is less similar to the ones that I've already got and therefore potentially more practical if I'm going out for the day as well. Um, I can definitely store more in here, but with it being quite light and thin, um, thin kind of straw, maybe I wouldn't want to overfill it. So, hmm, big decision to make. So I'd be very grateful um, for your opinions. And now, <laughs> The This was at the bottom of the box, and I don't know how I missed an entire box of bits and bobs. But anyway, the rest of my Nessa Porter unboxing. Okay, this is very exciting. The first thing that is in here is a new quilted Burberry jacket in the most gorgeous colour. I think it is just the most perfect. I want to describe this as almost like a champagne -y blonde colour. Now I do have something kind of similar to this, which I have had for about eight years. You guys probably don't see me wear it that much because I often just kind of fling it on when I'm heading into the garden, um, for our evening walks, if it gets chilly in the evenings, for example this weekend when we had friends over, sat outside as the evening goes on, I pop it on over my shoulders. But it's got quite scruffy because I wear it so much and it is probably 8 to 10 years old. I don't even think I was blogging when I got it. And why don't I just show you instead of rambling. <laughs> actually a little bit embarrassing to show you because it has got ketchup on the front of it but this is my original Burberry coat it is always better if I show you these things standing up um, okay so I'm not sure if you guys will have seen this one but as I said very well loved very well worn I probably should take this to the dry cleaner and just get it smartened up a little bit but it's just one of those really really practical coats you know it's one that I could keep in the car um, it's probably got dog poo, yep, dog poo bags. In the pockets, just very well loved, very well worn, um, <laughs> very bold Burberry lining. So this is my existing one, and the reason I show you this is to see, firstly, whether we think a second one is needed, but then my argument would be this one is a lot smarter, and I just think it's always a good investment to invest in things that you know you're going to get a lot of use out of, and if you have something similar in your wardrobe that you do get a lot of use out of, then that is a very good sign indeed. So this one has got more of almost like a pearlescence to the fabric. I would probably roll the sleeves up um, just once, like I did on my old one. Gives it just a very subtle flash of the Burberry print. Ooh. It's got quite a cool, like, badge here, so you'd either have to, but you can still roll up the sleeves a little bit. So just looking at the differences, um, the lining is a little bit darker in the new one, you've got the new Burberry branding, the buttons on my original one are pewter, 
whereas these are gold and I do wear more gold jewellery so this is a little bit more suitable and then this one is the quilted jacket uh, top collar whereas this one is corduroy and it's a really lovely soft corduroy which is probably going to be a bit better um, for me not getting makeup all over it so it feels overall a little bit smarter Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I do absolutely love this. It's also got an interesting pocket detail. You've got one that's straight down and one that's on the diagonal. So yes, let me know what you guys think. Obviously it is a fairly lightweight jacket, um, but very versatile. It definitely keeps the chill off, it keeps the wind off, waterproof. So I'm a big, big fan of that, big, big fan. And probably about time that I added a new one to my collection. <sighs> This is possibly one of my best Natta Porter orders ever. Okay, we're gonna have to do some trying on. We've got a dress here from Reformation. I thought I'd had a notification that this had sold out and I thought they'd taken it out of my basket. Oh my gosh, new Zimmerman dress. Okay, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do a try on for you in a second. Um, here is the belt, the belt that I was talking about yesterday, how silly. I hope you guys um, didn't give up on me after that haul. So this is the belt that I was talking about with the contrast white stitch and the raffia detail. This dress obviously comes with its own belt, but just to give you an idea as to how it looks. Um, and my size, doesn't actually say on here, but I will leave my size of this belt linked down below. Oh, it might actually be a bit big. I may need to size down, or maybe not actually. No, maybe not. Ah, oh, perfect. Okay, that is absolutely perfect. Exactly what I wanted, so the labels can come off. Yes, this is absolute perfection, exactly what I wanted. It, I knew, again, thinking about things that I already get so much wear out of in my wardrobe, I knew that I get so much use out of my uh, raffia belt that I showed you yesterday that came off one of my Zimmerman play suits. Um, so I knew that this style of belt goes with so many of my outfits. And it's nice to have something a little bit smarter as well, because that one is quite, um, relaxed whereas where this one has got the contrast stitching around the edge and the white buckle it feels a lot smarter it also because of the white seems to flow a little bit more softly in with this dress in particular so i'll try it with a few different dresses i mean it's mine now i've cut the labels off so no doubt you guys will be seeing me styling this with lots of different things but if you had seen outfits on my instagram or here on youtube where i had been styling my old raffia belt with dresses, but obviously that belt wasn't sold by itself, then this is a really fabulous option. I wish it had another of these to secure this in, um, but I do find that if you roll the belt inwardly when you store it in a coil, then this will always just kind of fold flat against the body, so that doesn't bother me at all. Size-wise, I do think it's perfect. It's not too tight when it is on the tightest setting, and I usually end up loosening <laughs> these things a little bit after wearing them um, for a few hours. Yes, I'm really happy with the quality of this. It's very substantial. You've got this brass uh, pointy thing, um, leather on the inside, beautiful raffia. I'm very, very happy with this. And I believe I also ordered a belt from the Nueve. <gasps> Or is this my sunglasses? So this is a new, Oh, I don't think I meant to order this. Did I? I did, I did. Oh my gosh. What happened was I had these items in my wish list um, for a little while and then I added them all to my basket. But I'd had this in my basket for a few weeks so I had actually forgotten about it. Okay, so. Originally, when I just opened this, I was like, Josie, you already have a belt really similar to this, albeit this being um, more bronze as opposed to the gold that I've currently got. But this one is reversible, so you literally can just pop, pop it out. <laughs> I might actually need Charlie to help me do that. But this is, if you are more of a leather belt kind of gal, as opposed to 
Ah, uh, okay, I do need to swap this for a smaller size because I like to be able to wear these belts as waist belts. So again, I'll leave this size on the screen here so that you can see for, um, for size notes, but I will be probably swapping this for the smallest one that Loewe do. There are plenty of holes here, so even if you want to wear it, this for me would probably be waist belt size. Yeah, that would fit around my waist. But I don't really wear trousers or anything like that. Um, so maybe I'll try it with a pair of trousers. I'll give it a go. Hmm. So this, uh, this haul and talking about the items that I have been talking about in today's video, like my Loewe basket bags, the green one, the ones that I've had for a few summers now, also belts, makes me realise that I would actually say that Loewe is probably in my top five brands alongside Chloe, Zimmerman, and I don't want to be restrictive on the last two, but I would say Loewe is definitely up there in my top five brands. Now I actually have these purchases um, to thank from Jorge, or George, <laughs> from Brown Rig Interiors. Jorge and his husband David came over to our house a couple of weeks ago and dropped off the beautiful antique rhubarb forces. They own Brown Rig Interiors Antique Shop in uh, Tetsbury, which I would highly, highly, highly recommend you visit. Jorge is Spanish, as you might be able to guess from the pronunciation of his name. And I find that many stylish Spanish people love Loewe. It is a Spanish brand. And that was a very long rambly introduction of saying Jorge was wearing a pair of Loewe sunglasses when he came to visit and I'd never considered Loewe sunglasses before but then when I was in Selfridges last week I was drawn to the Loewe store and because of Jorge's sunglasses I decided to try some Loewe sunglasses on. Wow, that was a long rambly intro. So we have two pairs here, I've already got a pair on my head. Um, these are from Fendi. These are actually, this is a very um, ridiculous thing to say, but these are my gardening sunglasses. And I don't mean, wow, that's what happens when a cloud goes over. They never get damaged or dirty, but these are the ones that live in the cupboard by the Alexa in the kitchen, so they always get worn when I'm gardening. I had them on my head just now because I just ate my lunch outside. But anyway, Back to the Loewe sunglasses, they've got the Loewe logo here, which I only realised last year is four quadrants of the Loewe L. So you know how they write the word Loewe with that swirly L? This is basically four of those L's. Do you see what I mean? Like this is one of the L. If you just, just look at that bit on the top. By itself. See, that is the Loewe L. Sorry to show you my um <laughs> my finger up close. I've been putting Neosporin on it. Someone said that if this happens to you, um, then you have to sterilise all of your rings because there might be sorry, it's a bit gross. Might be an infection that's on the ring. So yes, I am going to be sterilising my rings this afternoon. How fun is that? Oh, these are big. Oh no, look. They're far too big. In fact, they look like they might have been stretched. Oh, that's a shame. Okay, I might, hmm, I'm not sure what to do here because they are far too big and I'm sure the ones that I tried on in the shop fit me perfectly, but like, wow. Let's have a look at the tortoise shell pair. So these are a slightly different shape. They are more angular, whereas the black are more spherical. And again, you've got the Loewe logo on the side here. And these fit me perfectly. How crazy. That is totally bonkers. I love these. They look very cool. I like how, um, obviously I've not done my hair yet today. I'm going to do that in a second. Love the shape of these, but then I also love the shape of the round ones. I'm going to order another pair of these, maybe... Maybe I accidentally ordered a size up. Let me know which you guys prefer out of the black and the tortoise. Obviously these ones are the ones that fit me. But maybe I've added quite a lot of more 
straight line shaped sunglasses to my collection this year. I do love these. There must be different sizes and I must have just got a big pair. So do a swap with this and a swap with the belt, but they, I think the tortoise ones are a keeper. Okay, what else, what else? Right, bikinis. I don't have a holiday booked at the moment, but when I see a bikini that I love, this is from Issa Boulder. That sounds like, <laughs> sounds like the punchline for a joke. Why did no one know? Why could no one remember the name? Why could no one remember the big stone's name? Because Issa Boulder. <laughs> Issa Boulder. I'm really sorry, that's probably someone's name. But yes, I love uh, bikinis that are not too much material on the bottom because I like to get good or limited tan lines on my bottom and uh, I really like the bronze colour of this bikini. So this is the bottoms, they've got a really lovely kind of plait woven detail on the side here and that same woven detail on the entire bralette. Now I'm not sure how this is going to look on me, um, especially given that I'm fairly flat chested but I'll give it a go. There's quite a good like shape manipulatability and stretch to this. So I will give that a try. Zimmerman dress number two. I will probably only keep one of the two. So we'll do some try-ons and you guys can let me know which is the best. And then another absolutely gorgeous, really lovely lightweight dress from Rixo. This looks a little sheer and it's not come with a slip. I'll give it a try without a slip, um, but if it does need one, not the end of the world because I have got quite a few in my collection. So let's do a little try on. Okay, my darlings, I've decided to add some curls to my hair and pop on the first of the Zimmerman dresses. Do you know what? I'm not sure that this is actually the perfect dress for me. I think we had so many successes yesterday and I think that all the others, oh, here comes the sun, will be a success, but actually, I am not, um, I've not done my hair very well. I'm not madly in love with this silhouette. I think it's just too much going on up here. Um, and then with it being short on the legs as well, short, um, short length, I'm just not sure it's very me. I feel like I prefer to have more skin exposed up here um, and then more of a full length on the legs. Obviously it is a really, really lovely dress and if I had all the money in the world and all the wardrobe space in the world, it, it is a fabulous dress. But you know when you just have a dress silhouette that works for you and I'd almost rather just have tons of repetition in my wardrobe of dresses that I know that I absolutely adore instead of having one that's a bit different and potentially just not reach for it because it's just not a silhouette that I'm as comfortable with. The pattern, I absolutely adore. It is this fabulous watercolour pattern and you might be able to see through, um, the slip actually has the exact same pattern. So you could even wear the slip just as a mini dress by itself, which I actually think would look amazing. I love the long sleeves. I love the fabric. It's super lightweight. It's like a chiffon, not, is it a chiffon? Maybe like a silk chiffon. Gorgeous. Um, but I think the next one that I'm going to try will be even more of a winner. Okay, my darlings. So here we have got the second silhouette in this fabric and I definitely prefer this silhouette on myself. I know I said about liking an open neckline, but I just feel that a lot, I just feel that a long dress suits me more. Maybe it's just what I'm getting used to. It's not that I don't like having my legs out, but I feel like longer dresses are just more elegant and suit my style and my lifestyle a little bit better. So I feel 100% more confident in this kind of dress. Um, so you have got the same beautiful, gorgeous, lightweight material, the same stunning watercolour pattern. It's got, it looks like hydrangea, you've got violets, uh, it even looks like you've got lilies and orchids in here. 
just the most beautiful selection of blooms. It's also a little bit easier to get on than the other dress because the other one had um, zips on the sleeves, whereas this one is all elasticated. You've got a shirred detail on the bodice, so it's a really lovely fit on everybody. Ruffle detail on the sleeves here. And then if you remember the beautiful blue dress that I wore on the lake in Charleston, um, the notebook lake, you might remember that the if you looked very closely, you might remember that the waist belt had little shells dangling from it. Um, well, this isn't shells, but it is tiny, tiny, um, can you see, tiny little pearls. Just a really sweet detail. And Zimmerman seem to be paying a lot more attention to those little details lately. I might go downstairs and um, see if Charlie will take a quick <laughs> snap of me in this dress because it really is stunning and the purple wildflower is in full bloom down in the garden at the moment. I will give you a very quick garden update um, before we head out later. We've actually got a really fun evening ahead. We have booked... Um, I don't normally actually check the Soho House app for events, but for some reason I did a couple of weeks ago and there was something tonight. It's called the Cotswold Guy Supper Club. So we're going with Rory and Nathan, who have now moved house and are literally five minutes away from Soho Farmhouse, which is so amazing for them. Um, so yes, we're going for a supper club this evening. I feel like this would be probably... I mean, I could definitely wear something like this to the farmhouse for a supper club, but I would feel a tad overdressed. Just a tad, as much as I adore it. Um, but yeah, I might just sneak downstairs and get a couple of photos. So up next here we have got the, is it Faithful? <laughs> Rixo dress. Um, the one that didn't come with the slip. However, it is lined and I actually don't think you can see anything through the dress, which is great. I have definitely not done this upright. I think this is actually one of those dresses that requires a second pair of hands to help you because, excuse the fact that you can see my bra at the back, it's actually got um, like a tube of fabric here so I think you're actually meant to thread the bit that I have tied um, behind my neck I think you're meant to thread that through there maybe maybe something that you should do before you put the dress on I'm not too sure but anyway even without that the fit is absolutely lovely so with that cinched in it's going to be even better this is an absolutely gorgeous dress I think it, these kinds of dresses it does really depend on your personal style and your lifestyle. I know that, for example, if I still lived in London, I probably would not need as many dresses like this in my wardrobe. I wouldn't have the occasions to wear them. Whereas living out here, I feel that I do. Um, this has really become my kind of signature style and go-to type of wardrobe piece since moving out to the countryside now that uh, there's more going on and lockdown is lifting. I honestly have forgotten how to curl my hair, it's just <laughs> doing the weirdest things. I did it really quickly with my straighteners instead of um, doing it properly with curlers and it's just doing all kinds of mad things. But anyway, the dress, the silhouette is absolutely gorgeous. The length, again, is perfect. It is a maxi length dress on me. I've got the Valentino, my original Valentino rock studs sandals with it. Okay, I have performed some kind of sorcery at the back here. I'm pretty sure, wow, I mean that just looks absolutely awful. What on earth have I done? What have I done? Oh my gosh, I have definitely not done that right, um, but I can see <laughs> what they are getting at. I definitely think I need to re-thread this through. Yeah, def definitely haven't done that right, but I can see the vibe that they're going for and I absolutely love it. I can definitely see the potential in the dress. Um, so I think it's definitely going to be a keeper. So I have one more to share with you. And last but absolutely not least, in fact, this I would say is the surprise fate. Mm, I don't know if I'd call it a favorite. The long zoom is so divine, maybe that's a favorite, but a real surprise with how much I adore this dress. So this, um, again, from my Netta Porter order, I really caught the sun at the weekend. <laughs> My goodness. Yes, this is a Reformation dress, really simple silhouette, fairly fitted on the bodice. I have gone braless. It's quite wide, like the straps are quite far apart and I feel like if you had a very narrow bodice, 
it, they could be a little bit too wide. They could do with being like a centimeter further in. Just one of those funny little, um, funny little things that I've noticed. Luckily for me, I'm fairly broad shouldered. So for considering my height and everything. So it actually works for me. You've got this really lovely trim detail on the top here, a really pretty midi length. Um, and again, you've got that gorgeous blue flowers on the white fabric. I think actually I will wear this tonight. It's perfect for a relaxed evening at the farmhouse, but obviously I like to get overdressed for absolutely everything. And I'll probably just take a nice cozy thick cardigan um, to wear as well. So we actually need to leave in like 20 minutes. So I'm just going to um, probably put some powder on because I've got very, very shiny. I'll give you a very quick garden update because the red brick pathway is done which is really exciting um, and we have got the coping stones on at the greenhouse very 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 exciting yeah I'll give you those updates um, and then we'll head to Rory and Nathan's and then to the farmhouse so I have a really lovely uh, delivery to share with you this is an order that Charlie placed from a local business called Sarah Franklin Design and it's actually a really lovely story basically Charlie was out working um, at Straw Top Cottage and a lady was walking her dog and I believe the lady was Sarah's auntie I believe um, handed Charlie a business card and Charlie checked out the company and of course, we just absolutely love these pieces, so placed an order. So the company is based in Adderbury, which is obviously where the cottage, where Strawtop Cottage is. Um, so I think we'll place these pieces in the cottage, but it looks like Charlie's ordered three of the pheasant tea towels, so we'll probably keep a couple of them here. But such beautiful designs. We've got the pheasants, we've got the piggies, we've got tea towels, we've got oven gloves really beautiful quality and we always love to showcase as many local businesses in the cottage as possible so very very happy that the lady stopped charlie on the side of the road to introduce us to this business i will leave sarah franklin at design linked down below so very very quick garden update before we hit the road we have got a completed red brick pathway and it just looks truly fabulous all the way down leading straight to the water trough down there at the bottom the sun's just gone behind a big cloud and then here as we turn right the red brick path leads also into the greenhouse you've already seen the york stone at the bottom but we now have the uh, coping stones which are the flat stones on the top also in this beautiful honey-coloured Haunton stone. So the plan is, obviously, <laughs> the actual greenhouse bit is still, still got to wait uh, another couple of months for that, which is a little bit of a pain, but it'll definitely be worth it. And it's actually going to be bound gravel at the back here. There's going to be a little bit of space, so it's all dead here from where the oil tank used to be um, so I think what I will do is have um, just pop a table behind here and maybe use it well I might do a table I might do some compost bins and just stack up oh my gosh it's actually really nice and sunny now the sun is actually shining um, yeah maybe stack some of my terracotta pots up there but we'll see oh it's all looking so so beautiful so the red brick path goes all the way down these areas here will need to get turfed. I think that's the next job. Everything that we planted looking good. This is my favorite bed visually. It just seems to be the neatest with the structure of the terracotta, the rhubarb forces. Still waiting on the plants for the cut flower area, but hopefully they'll come this week. And I'm hoping that my lettuce is going to cheer up a little bit. It's all looking a little bit sad. I'm not sure if it's because I perhaps haven't added quite enough water for new, newly grown um, or newly planted plants or if they don't like the straw mulch. So we'll give them a little bit of time and a lot of water and hope for the best. Yeah, we do, yeah. Yeah, we do, we do. No. 